This is exactly right. I am Barbara Gray, and 2016 is going to be my mom's year. (laughs) (laughs) I'm Brandi Posey, and my New Year's resolution is to put on workout clothes, then run out of time to exercise every single day of the year, and I am crushing it so far. I'm Tess Brecker, and I mean, Joan Crawford was right about wire hangers, though. (laughs) (laughs) And this is Lady to Lady. Can you keep a secret? Neither can we. We got Barbara Brandy and of course Big Tess. We got a show for everyone that's the fucking best. Come on, baby. It's time to hang out with your favorite ladies. Ladies and ladies. Ladies and ladies. We can do so many hand motions. We kind of do get into voguing. Yeah. yeah. We uh, we got some headsets and we're real Britney bitch. Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> we're starting uh, 2016 very Britney bitch. Mm. So welcome we to the show, lady to lady. Whoop, whoop. Uh, yeah. Um, Hey, thank you guys so much for donating to our Planned Parenthood fundraiser. Yes. Oh, yeah. We made a shit ton of money. <laughs> in How it much did we make for um, Planned Parenthood? Our donations were 2520 and then with all the doubles and triples that came in, we earned $6,140. That is You guys amazing. fucking rock. Yeah, they they were doing a thing where they would tr- tr- uh, double or triple your donation, depending on when you sent it in. So, mm-hmm. yeah, we raised over $6,000 for Planned Parenthood. That's insane. We had a goal of 1000 Yeah. And even then, I was like, I don't know about that. You guys that. are six times cooler than you, we thought you were. <laughs> that is a good way to think about life, actually. Yeah. I think that's yeah. true. Like, it's a okay. thousand for every ab and a six pack. Yeah. Which I feel really good about for this fundraiser. That's, yeah. Uh, thank you to, you know, everyone in Magic Mike, and thanks for having us watch it again for mm-hmm. a good cause. <laughs> that was uh, really cool. So, yeah, thank you guys for donating. You're fucking awesome. Boop. Yeah. And, uh, oh, I wanted to say I have a show tomorrow night. Um, the seventh called Noble Experiment, where comedians pair up and do weird shit. I'm hosting with Aaron Lampart. Hey. I don't know what we're doing yet, but it'll be something <laughs> funny. Uh, and come to that. It's yeah. op- at the Open Space and Theater. And we have another improv show mm-hmm. on the 13th. The last one was so fucking fun. Yeah, it was crazy. We had Maria Bamford, blast. Guy Branham, yes. Ryan Nemeth uh, giving away pizza and stripping. Mike Burns. Mike with Burns Santa with Santa. Yes. So let's keep this going. Come yeah. out and see us on the 13th. It's, I promise it's going to be just as fun. There will be shenanigans. It's oh, there will be bucks. so much. Come. It's five yeah. bucks. Yeah. All right. Are we ready for our guest? We have a guest in the studio today. <laughs> like we should talk in like Britney auto-tuned voices with these okay. headphones. Okay. You have to have like this a fake really British bad. accent. <laughs> yeah. In the club. In the club. This and now. <laughs> we're about to, okay. No. Nope. I feel like a chipmunk. Why did that feel weird? Are you okay? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> and now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, bringing to the stage the hilarious comedian Georgia Brooks. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying so hard not to breathe in the mic for like so long. That is kind of hard. It's yeah. hard, right? Yeah. Or am I, am I just in my head? No, I'm it? having it too. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. think about it because you're not. You could move it away from your face, I guess. Uh, well, I guess I can, but every time you breathe, you're like. <laughs> kind of like snorkeling. Uh, the audience can't see, but I was like really funny. That was like some great, <laughs> great, physical, some great physical comedy. Great yeah. work. Yeah, all those we make UCB classes. We, we make our guests do uh, jumping jacks in a corner before we bring them on. So that's why she's yeah. so out of breath mm-hmm. too. Because you guys will only have sexy guests, and you're like, if they're not sexy enough, you're like, can you do some push-ups? Uh, <laughs> push-ups yeah. make you sexy. Could you like, you know, trim down before you come on the show? I did <laughs> come from the gym. I don't oh. know if you could tell from my attire. Well, I'm also wearing gym attire, but I didn't come from mm. the gym. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I want to point out that I... Um, I my, like your shirt, Babs. Oh, thank you. It's yeah. a very... It's a drunk elephant shirt. It's cute. I think it's Delirium Trimmins. Oh. This is the beer. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Well, it's a Beastie Boy shirt, so I don't really know oh. what, what's going on. But um, my, like... Only well, I had two resolutions this year, and one was that I wanted to dress nicer, and I have done nothing. Killing but, it! I've done did nothing I give you snaps on your shirt? I gave you snaps. Oh, yeah, but no, I you have did. Trashy taste. No, 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 not trap. But I mean, like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna like buy nicer clothes, and like, right. li- all I've been doing is like wearing sleeping clothes. Well, yeah, yeah I got year. some sweatpants for Christmas, Me and too. I haven't stopped wearing. I can't them. get out of them. No, they're I'm wearing so them right nice. now. I can't. Leave. I, I, I'm basing my life around how I don't want to get out of these sweatpants. Yeah, and then I got yoga pants too. It's like just yeah. I sleep in one pair of sweatpants and then I get out of bed and I put on my other hat. <laughs> Are we talking Lulu? Your day buttons? sweatpants. Yeah, your day sweats. I I go to Athleta. 
I don't know. Is that better? That is. Um, yeah. I've never done Lulu, but I, I do like Ethley. It's like slightly cheaper, but I think just as good quality. And what is so great about Lulu? So what these are the Lulu lemons and the yoga pants I got are Lulu lemons. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> First of all, they're so comfortable. Like you feel like you're gonna like your skin is gonna come from comfort. Like it's right. so comfort. just like really the quality material. of the material. Don't you just get distracted doing yoga then? Because you feel like you're gonna, your body's gonna come everywhere or whatever. Yeah. I think that's what yoga is for. That, that is yoga. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you're doing yoga that's right, your body bath. is coming. Right. It's actually <laughs> true. God, okay, then I need to get into it. Yeah. I think you would like that but you're gonna enough. ruin all your new nice clothes. <sighs> well, they already have come all over them anyway. <laughs> I just like the idea of Barbara doing yoga and a bunch of three-quarter sleeve button downs. <laughs> oh, God. That is not what I meant by getting nicer clothes. Dear You're just going to start dressing like a snappy businesswoman. Yeah, lots of slacks. Mm-hmm. That's what They do me- have business yoga pants. That's, that's how I know that Facebook knows me is that's an ad that comes up a lot. I get that all that. the time, too, though. You do, too? Oh, yeah. I okay, well, it. yeah, exactly. I get, like, <laughs> yeah, you guys are on brand together. It's fine. Your, your Venn diagram is almost a perfect circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> What, Georgie? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say my Facebook ads, and I was like, nobody really asked. Oh, no, wait. No, but you were talking but you don't about have to ask. I know I can of, talk whenever I want. You've been talking. getting a lot of engagement, you were saying before. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were talking about that. Um, <laughs> Facebook will tell me when anyone I've ever met, even if I don't, like, know the like I, you know, what, there's people on your Facebook you don't recognize yes. at all. Your fans, my your fans. fans. I, I, fan I have so yes. few fans that I can have them all as my friends on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> and um, all of them got engaged this year. I don't know. Why. Yeah, it was a big engagement Christmas. Holy time. crap! It really, Does it say it, it on yours? Yeah, mine says. It, it, says, it says right. It says this week. Yep. What? Thirty-three people engaged. Isn't that what? make you want to kill Fuck yourself? Off. Yeah, Fuck it's off. Actually it actually makes me happy. Where? No. Oh, I no. mean, oh, I'm oh my God. God. No. It's weird. My right? says 174. How many what? I want to see. No. How- a lady post, like, how many people are commenting. Like, oh, David posts. says that's how many. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. I thought that's how many people got engaged. Oh, and I know. Those are our engagement. <laughs> That is, I'm like, oh. I've okay. been upset about that for so long. Oh it's just how many people have commented on our post. Oh my god! <laughs> well, that really shows like where my mind's at. Wow, Georgia. And I was like, this is so fucked up that they would do that. What kind of mind fuck shit is that? Like. <laughs> That is so I believed funny. me. That's we would, if David wasn't here, we probably <laughs> we would have yeah, like, believed it. Holy yeah. shit, 103? <laughs> and I was like, that's that's a, that's a you're in a rough spot. Wow. <laughs> that's hilarious. I thought, oh my god. Oh Damn. My why god. are you mad though? Just because I'm she, just I'm I, I guess not mad like it's just a I'm bit just much. like I'm yeah, it's a bit much. And yeah. I'm also yeah. like I get I do I do I do love like I do love weddings and stuff like a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah. And like whenever it shows anyone engaged, I'll like I won't know who either of them are and I'm like, yeah. I wonder which one is my friend and then I'll yeah. <laughs> And then I still won't know. And then I'll finally figure out how I know them. I've done and all then of this. I get yeah. jealous. <laughs> like this bitch. <laughs> That I attempt with in 2002. Yeah, she was not on that path. I went like, you guys, I have this weird obsession with like, I don't know, I guess just because I like gossip and knowing like who's dating who and whatever. Mm -hmm. I like, I went like deep last night, Mm -hmm. like looking at this girl who I used to know like years ago, just like she still has the same last name as her like husband, but I didn't see all of her pictures in the last like two years only with her cat. So I was like, oh, I like went. You got to get into that. That's so exciting. Yeah, I like went back up. so. <laughs> I went back so far to like find. I was like, when's the last time oh she posted God. with him? When was the last time you posted Did you with her? It together. It was like I mean, it's been. I guess they. I don't know, but she. I don't know if they've gotten divorced because she still has the name. So oh, maybe, maybe was there ever? Yeah. yeah. Was yeah. there ever a dramatic post of like, hey, I feel like this is the right time to say no? But there were a ton of re like she t- she does a lot of Tumblr and there's a lot of reblogging uh, sad poems. Oh like, boy. That's actually how you know. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. When you, you know. see the sad memes shared. It was a lot of like, are they yeah. like soulmates? Are you my, you know, and like weird. Uh, yeah. I can't even handle like a breakup with someone I haven't been seeing long, let alone a marriage. <laughs> I know. Oh, God. That'd be so hard. How do you, handling a marriage on Facebook, a divorce on Facebook has to be the worst. I remember, I remember like when I, ending like, even a long-term relationship yeah. on Facebook, because even having to like uncheck the Unclick relationship. I, yeah. I did that once and then I was like, I'm I won't never do it, posting either. my relationship. Me either. So. I will be. The just worst. Tess Parker for the rest of my life on Facebook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. 
I have in and a relationship, I'm, but not with my boyfriend. So that was my like in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah because they, then at least they don't get the notice of like Barbara said you were no longer in a relationship. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Plus, it's like it, it's it makes sense to be in a relationship on Facebook because you get hit up by less creeps. Yes, that is true. That was yeah. initially yeah. I clicked it forever ago before I was even in a relationship because I was just like eh, less people will talk to me if they see. see this. I actually yeah. go the other way where I'm like, yeah. mm, you don't need to know. I had to, yeah. <laughs> I don't get a lot of creeps. I don't get a lot of mess. Like you I, I've yeah. gotten. I the creeps have significantly lessened. I the feel last like they, few yeah. Years. Yeah, I they, feel like they're learning that they can't get away with it anymore. Yeah. I feel like yeah. I'll get like my creep average is about. I get like about one a day. What? Yeah. I'm, I'm you guys so get. jealous. I don't get that. <laughs> I, get, I get one every like two weeks, probably. Are you kidding? Yeah. Maybe I'm not getting them right. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> Maybe they're going to. What's your profile picture right now? Let's look. Like, you, let's you let's up your look creep factor. Other folder. I feel like you have You're, like. I feel like Georgia's other folder has like labyrinths in it. Yeah, yeah. I think without she's a doubt. Got a lot of shit but you can't yeah. find it on your phone. The other folder, right? I, I, I don't know. No, you. Can, I think you can only sign on your desktop. Yeah. I once on Instagram got somebody sent me a photo like he kept sending me photos and was being really creepy like those private photos yeah, and yeah. then i never responded and then one day he sent me a picture of a teddy bear with blood all no. over it oh god yeah and it had like bandages no. and, and stuff it oh, was that's really next no. scary yeah. see that counts for like a hundred yeah creeps. you that's like, your time yeah i don't have a lot but when yeah. they're in they're in <laughs> <laughs> i remember they're dedicated. Uh, and <laughs> when I had a guy, Oof. he wasn't necessarily being like sexually creepy, but it was a, one of the, the guy who would like was like one of the people who made a, a fake Reddit of me and then was like posting oh, my oh, posting yes. my stand up videos, being like, Asshole. "I'm Barbara Gray and I'm funny, fuck men" or something. Yeah, I was yeah. like horrible stuff that I was not saying. Yeah. You and weren't then, saying that. Well, I mean, to, in private. Right. Um, yeah. But everyone was saying it about you. She's like, she is funny. And yeah. fuck and men. Fuck men. Yeah. <laughs> like, not related to you. Just two separate categories. <laughs> yeah, they just put them together. Mm -hmm. But, like, some guy who was, like, I don't know, being a dick and, like, messaging my, like, my Facebook, like, fan page, I, I found that they have automatic responses on Facebook fan pages where you can be like, hey, thanks for messaging me. I can't oh. get back to you. So I just kept pressing it over and over and oh, over. Nice. So it was, like, him getting that a million times and he was trying to keep up, but he couldn't. Oh, that's and then so Eventually, funny. he like blocked me, and I was like, "Fuck nice. yes, I'm gonna do this every time." Wow, you really that's won. Awesome. You got a creep to block you. Yeah, that's yeah. great. It was. I, I felt like pretty that. good. That's about great. It. I just don't engage at all. I usually yeah. don't, but I was like, "That was." I mean, they they posed as me, so I was like, "Well, no, that, I've never had that happen to yeah. me." Yeah, yeah that's like, yeah. yeah, next you can level. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah man. Yeah, that's how you know you've made it. Yeah. Yeah. I had some guy the other day that was messaging me on Facebook and he started out fine and he like messaged me. He's like, hey, how are you doing? And I always like, it's weird. And I'm like, we don't have any mutual friends. Yeah, so it's, it's weird. You don't write back to these people. When you're no, you guys do not write back I, to I these people. I only hate what's up. Yeah. Yeah. If someone says hi, what's up? Yeah. I like to fuck with guys. I mean, sometimes yeah. it's a fun Nine times them. out of ten I block, but I was like taking the bus back from LAX and I was like, I looked at his page and I was like, well, we don't have any mutual friends, but he's like a nice guy. He's like in the military. Like maybe he's bored overseas or whatever. I'll say hi. I don't know how the hell fuck he found me. <laughs> and like, like you're burying. I know. Yeah. I know. So I was just like, hi. <laughs> this is definitely the beginning of a, a horror movie. Yeah. yeah. And then within maybe like. Maybe he's bored overseas. Yeah. <laughs> probably. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. I'll say hi to you. Maybe you're just like whatever okay. and I like said hi and then like within three things he's like so do you have a boyfriend and I was like yep he's yeah. like well but I like you and I was like that block <laughs> yes Brandy <laughs> I know I know yes. I know. Why? who cares I know. why can't she she like, can. I don't think just... it's bad to respond. Like I did the whole Smash Mouth thing with that guy. It's like, yeah, okay, it's, 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 it's going to turn out to yeah. be if you're go viral. Yourself. You should do it. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. If you yeah. have the potential, yeah. If you yeah. see Reddit money, <laughs> <laughs> all that sweet Reddit money, <laughs> sweet, sweet. <laughs> and of course, you go with it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't get I don't I don't get as many I don't get like one a day like you then Tess. Like if I got that many, there's no way. But I don't get that many. Yeah. Yeah, I just can't. You know. I don't, I don't know. I just assume I, I was like, maybe he's a fan of the show or something. And you like, listen to that. That is true. Piece. That does do happen get, like, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I get random. I guess if someone's a, a fan, then maybe I would after hope they say that right away, like, hey, somewhere. I like your podcast. If you're right. listening and you're a fan of the show and you choose to message us, <laughs> yeah, say don't that you're start a fan. with what's up. Yeah. If, least, yeah. And don't ask us out. Yeah. Please don't. Yeah. All I busy. mean, uh, yeah. speak for yourself, Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't ask me out. <laughs> don't ask me out. Georgia also speaks for me. <laughs> just there kidding. We go. Don't. Don't. I mean, do. So then I can say no. No, just kidding. Don't. That's fun. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> um, I had something funny to talk about. I don't remember it. I bet I it was would. so good though. <laughs> what was... did you do for New Year's? Yeah, I um I just went to the party by my house. The one there was a 
the one by Mohawk Bend uh, uh-huh. house oh, okay. party. Yeah, it yeah. was funny because the next day we were like eating brunch and uh, somebody was like, Whitney was like, oh, did anything cool happen at that party? I was like, no. And this girl was like, well, what about the big fire? And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was like a huge tree, oh, tree fire. Oh, yeah. You was the one. Fire. Yikes. That was at where Dave had his birthday one time, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It was just a big house party. It was not, you know, it was fine. But that's yeah. how jaded you've become is that a fire I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> giant fire that <laughs> we all walked into the middle of the street and watched. Whatever. For a while. That's so great. Watching fires, I know it, it's Nobody got hurt. It was, it, was it was just a tree. It was just trees. It's so good. Was, you know, yeah. 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 I know, I know. I had like a weird experience to me once that happened uh, when I was staying in Brooklyn. Uh, the building across the street from me caught on like serious fire. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it was the fuck. weirdest thing because I was sleeping in my friend's living room like on his futon. And yeah. the fire was blazing so hot that like I could feel the heat in Jesus. our apartment. Yeah. And it was the most unsettling feeling because it was just like there's nothing I can do about yeah. this. And it was like I couldn't sleep because the light in the living room from the fire was so bright and it was so hot. And it was just like a very frustrating feeling to be like this is like but um no one died that's good that's good that's great that's great (laughs) it was weird because at the actual party there was a moment i was standing in the kitchen and we were standing by the stove and i smelled gas and Mm -hmm. i was like i think someone turned on the and someone flipped it and it like whooshed up and so i think i'm getting like final destination by fire or something oh no maybe it's like sneaking i would look at it as like a good like it's like the new year fire is like the sun it's a good sign yeah Maybe okay. it's burning. Yeah, Maybe. I think it's 2015 good. away. Yeah. Oh, or did I, you have a good 2015? It was know. fine. I mean, it was up and yeah. down. You know? yeah. It's just like a, a whole year. How can you have a good year? Yeah. yeah. That's, or a that's, bad year. It's insane yeah. if you have an entire good year. Yeah. <laughs> I bet no one ever has except Richard Branson. <laughs> yeah, Probably. that's good. Yeah. That's and that's true. just because he doesn't take risks. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know who he is. So. I, <laughs> Wait, are you serious? He's the Virgin of America. That's really funny Virgin because guy. he's known for being like a daredevil. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you were joking. Like he, he like takes hot air balloons across the Atlantic oh, and like skydives out of space and stuff. Well, that's so crazy. God, that's so funny. God, it's like I'm funny when I don't even try. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. Right. It's, it's like effortless. Perfect. It just comes out. Yeah. Um, the party I was at, there was a guy that was walking around like right after midnight with like these little. I think they were like balkan or some sort of like treat that had like a fortune in it and he like mm. gave one to everybody cool. i was at like a she scientist a artist party it was super fun Fuck yes. and um of course it was a guy in an indiana jones hat because all scientists <laughs> love indiana jones i could see that and it was funny because i got i opened my fortune and it was like you will find a new passion this year and i go i don't have fucking time for this <laughs> <laughs> and then he gave me another one and that one said that my name will be in lights in 2016 oh. I was like, oh. thank you I just yeah. loved yelling at a fortune at 12.05. Yeah, you returned your fortune. I was like, no, that's not going to happen. I don't have yeah. time for a new fucking no, hobby this year. No you choose, <laughs> chose your own fate, which yeah. is really empowering. That is neat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Felt good. But that said, that does feel like the first like 15 minutes of an adventure movie, and like you might still accidentally find a new passion. I mean, I probably <laughs> will find a new passion. What if your passion is putting names in lights? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Let's get a job. Never my Marquee, own. Marquee. Marquee. <laughs> That's amazing. Person. <laughs> um, I have a question for you guys. We're a yeah. little bit into 2016, uh-huh. a tiny bit. A little bit. Uh, I feel so unmotivated, and I don't want to do anything. You know why? <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you <laughs> why. I know exactly what you're talking about. about. Let me, yeah. let me I just tell like, you why. I it's because New Year's cool. was on Friday, and tomorrow, well... We're re- we're recording this yes. on we're recording this on a Sunday. 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 Yeah. The laziest I, tomorrow. We've been like eating. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, we had a weird extended yes time. We had yeah. an extended right. time, yeah. and so we've fallen into like a cocoon. Yeah. Okay. Oh my yeah. god. Technically, I've been everything starts big time. It's great, Good. and it's cold. Yeah. Though, I'm trying too. to make sure that everyone's doing it because I yes. felt like this has been like the most unproductive week of my life, and I feel it's been insane. great. I've been yeah. going crazy too, and like making, like having um, what's it when like parent like weird parent not like paranoid of. Do you know what I mean? Like I've just anxiety. been like making stuff up, and and then I realize I'm like it's because I'm not fucking doing anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have so much free time. Yeah, to Yeah, like... I go if I'm not super busy, mm-hmm. then I feel like I'm doing acts, doing like nothing, mm-hmm. and then yeah. I feel like insane. Yeah. See, know? I feel like I operate normally at like a 17 out of 10. So for like for me, I always kind of look at Christmas as like the only time that I don't do yeah. anything. The ever. only time everyone so, is yeah. taking a break. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I yeah. feel like I like have to just sleep in it because I'm like hibernating for the whole year. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. No, that's true. And I've been doing that, but then because this is the end of the holidays, I think now we're it's all like, like, yeah. What am I fucking well, doing? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a weird place because it's like New Year's 
day was on Friday and then you have Saturday, Sunday, you're great. not going to start something I'm new so happy. on a Friday. No. So, like, the fourth is actually New Year's. Yeah. Like, sure. that's when the things yeah. actually Well, and I've been yeah. trying to, like, yeah. prep my life today a little bit. Like, I cleaned my life house. Prep. Yeah. And I got a calendar. Oh. But I spent a lot. They're expensive. I might return it and go to Target. It was, Wait, like, $15. Google. What? Calendars go to the dollar store. What are you doing? But the dollar store ones are flimsy. Oh. And they just, yeah. like, then I think it's like $15 curling. for something if you'll use it a lot. Yeah. It's for it full year. It was on the ancient maps, too. Do you it like still it? Is. Yeah. It it was. Was. I think you should keep it. Keep it. I 15 think you bucks. keep it. Yeah. My new one is a... Oh, are you saying wrap it up? Oh, not <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, have uh, seg- we have little segments. Yeah. So. Oh, okay, um, cool. My New Year's, my calendar this year is of goats and trees. Mm. I feel really good goats about that. Goats and look. trees? Yeah, goats in trees. That's really good. That's worth $15. We get a free calendar of Yosemite from the couple that we rented our RV from last year. Nice. Oh, I forgot. You no, you live in an RV. <laughs> I live in a, I live, I live in a mobile home. It's right. not like a airline. It's Airstreamer. It's like a house house. Uh, but yeah, but you can move it. Yeah, if I, yours yeah, is if like I a straight up house. Yeah, yeah. That's I can't wait to see it. It's around the corner. It's beautiful. Okay, maybe another time. <laughs> Uh-huh. Um, I'm gonna go force Georgia to look at my house. <laughs> I uh, my, I just want to say my calendar is a uh, Julia Prescott oh. made it for me for my birthday, Aww. and yeah. it's the, my sup. It's like the pictures of me like laying down <gasps> mm-hmm. all over like different. Are you serious? That's awesome. Stuff, yeah. You have a calendar That's version. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, That's she amazing. made it. It's awesome. That's gonna be really good all year because you're gonna look and you're gonna be like, look how fucking funny I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it was That's cool because uh, I forgot. I I didn't know where you know like what time it pa- it went over and I just mm-hmm. looked at it last oh my god I cannot I talk. know what you mean though. what the <laughs> fuck is going on anyway I found it and I was like fuck yes I don't have to buy a calendar so anyway That's thank awesome. you Julia Prescott That's huge awesome. yeah. Me and Androsky have always talked about every year we, we want to make a calendar where every month is the 4th of July and every day is the 4th. Yeah. <laughs> like, but every, it's like everybody oh, dressed up. Oh, that would up, be good. That's like fun. In red, white, and blue. Or one where everyone... No, never mind. Yeah. Nope. Not going to say a joke. Okay, bye. <laughs> Let's, we'll be back. <laughs> And we're back on Lady to Lady. I'm Brandy. I'm Barbara. I'm Tess. And we're here with Georgia Brooks. Hi. Hello. Yeah. She's just telling us about being a nudist. So Wait, yeah, you were raised in you a were trailer so... in a nudist colony? You were so casual about it. Well, <laughs> yeah. It is. It was really casual. Like, no clothes cash. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, just my... When I was... First of all, it was in Canada, so it was only during the summer months. Okay. Yeah. Cold. Because it was cold. Be, and yeah. um, I don't... Uh, we sold the trailer when I was, like... Four or something. So I only lived there from one till four, and only in the summer. So do you oh, remember okay. what's how many naked people do you remember? Like every everybody was naked. <laughs> um, <laughs> a lot of in the I they had like some pools, and you like could not you weren't allowed to go in the pools if you had clothes on because they thought clothes yeah. were dirty. Uh, <laughs> which, wow. Uh, huh. But for some reason, my mom wouldn't let me go in the hot tub because she said it was dirty. <laughs> but mm. in hindsight, I wonder what that reason was. Yeah. It wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> People played tennis. Yeah. Naked? It just, naked. Yeah, yeah, but just, it just seems shoes. uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't your everything flap? Just be running and jumping. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't would... think I thought it was that weird then, but yeah. now I would like to see it again to be like, does everything flap? <laughs> you know? What's your, yeah. what's your like relationship with nudity now? Like, are you like a modest person or? Um, I'm, I feel like I'm just pretty normal. Right. Like, um, uh, my Mom is like very into nudity still, and she'll like mm-hmm. always be naked. She, I, I, like, she, I think she wants to be people to, to see her naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she's showing my friend this all her photos. My mom, like, will go camping alone because uh, uh-huh. my dad doesn't want to hang out, and um, she'll be sliding through <laughs> photos to show uh-huh. my friend. She's like, Look, and then she'll just slide onto one where she's like, I know I'm naked in this, but I really want you to see the ten in the back. <laughs> I'm Damn, so mom. serious. It's like insane. Naked then, selfie. She'll always be like, if I'm home, she'll like have her shirt off. She's like, I know you hate it when I'm naked, so don't look. And I'm like, don't like stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so crazy. Wow. She's so insane. I think so, she's bored or something. So I mean, yeah. Does she have like a philosophy behind it? Like she just thinks clothes are not like uncomfortable, and we shouldn't be. And like she doesn't wear a bra and stuff. And yeah, she. Um, I don't really know. Like. I mean, it makes sense if you yeah. if you like go a long time without it. I mean, my yeah. sister likes to be naked. Yeah, and uh, yeah. you know, she, I mean, she likes like you know posing nude and stuff. And like, yeah. actually, like her point of view on it has changed kind of like how I look at it because she's like, yeah, it's like stupid. Like, we're, it's clothes is a necessity that we kind of made up in our heads. And yeah. she was like, yeah. it's very empowering to not like live in that matrix. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's cool. And I yeah. can mm-hmm. walk around like I'll walk around my own apartment. Well, I live alone, so it's like really not a big deal yeah. to walk around naked. But no. um, even at like at my boyfriend's house, so it's just him, so it's yeah. still not even that big a deal. Like mm-hmm. I'll walk into the room and he'll be like, "Let me fucking close the like the <laughs> blind or something," and I won't yeah. notice that. But I, I usually at least wear underwear or something. Yeah, just for because like I feel like having a pussy, like you just want fabric there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, yeah. I just also my boobs are too big. I don't. I can't fucking. Yeah. I'm not walking around with these things unsupported. Not happening. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. My my mom's tits are very tiny. Tiny tits. <laughs> yeah, Typical. I feel like nudity is for the tiny titted. Yeah, and she's like yeah. a thin woman and like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got too much, too many f- things going on. To yeah. <laughs> too many bells and that whistles. That I want to hide from the world. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bells and whistles. Yeah. Nobody needs to see. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I'm not necessarily uncomfortable naked. Like, I went no. to Wee Spa and I had a great time and I didn't feel Did weird. You? I, I, know. Yeah. I don't know. That's I haven't gone there and I've been like, I don't know if I want to be naked. It's cool, I, but yeah. I, I wouldn't reckon. I went with people who I wasn't like super good friends with. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's the key is like, yeah. I, you know, I don't want to go with like, I don't want to go with these guys. Like, no. I don't oh, want to see a spot with you. I mean, I wouldn't, I don't really care. I wouldn't have a problem. I know what you're but saying. it was better being with people who I just like don't know that well, I think a little yeah. bit. It's mean. like, yeah. mm-hmm. I could, this is kind of off. I sometimes think about like, I could maybe fool around with a girl, but like, she couldn't be my friend. Should have to be like a stranger. Right. Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of the same yeah. thing where you're yeah. just like, it might be too uncomfortable or something. Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But then I think it's also like at the spa, it's like, okay, it's really not any different th- really to me than if you're wearing a bathing suit. I'm not like, right. it's yeah. just like, whatever. I, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I, well, that's yeah. what was nice about the Wii Spa thing too. It was just like, everyone was naked. It didn't fucking matter. That's yeah, the thing about it. That's yeah, interesting yeah. about a nudist colony is like, I I guess, d- I mean, you were so young, but like when everyone is naked, does it kind of stop being visible? I mean, I didn't think it was a big deal when I was there. Right. And, yeah. But, I mean, one through four is, like, total naked baby time anyway. Yeah, you're yeah. naked. Yeah. But that's just yeah. more argument for nakedness. If you, right. like, naturally yeah, want to be naked. Before society mm-hmm. tells you, yeah. cover it up. But aren't you guys, like, in this very moment, like, I'm co- I'm physically cold right now. Always. So talking about being naked, I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, like, I like a hoodie. I like. Oh, my God. Yes. Hoodies, I, like, have an extra pockets, you yes. know? Like, hum- yeah. if humans were, like, marsupials and had, like, an unnatural pocket. That'll happen. Someday. I might be super into it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could, like, evolve just a pocket in my body yeah. <laughs> if I just had like a body pocket then mm. yeah. you know what I did last night though speaking of body pockets is <laughs> I was kind of <laughs> drunk and I fell asleep when we were watching TV and I had my hands under my boobs to keep my hands warm thinking, oh that's like yeah. that is <laughs> the <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I was just well, like oh this yeah. is so handy you find out you ways put stuff in your bra like of course. always I know yeah. it's bad to put yourself on your bra because you can get boob cancer oh is that right I think I mean <laughs> I mean, it's like everything is giving us cancer. Everything's giving us boob <laughs> cancer. Do you guys sl- yeah. sleep naked though? No, no. I don't either. think I can sleep uh, naked. Depends. I can sleep in just panties, but I, I don't like I, having my like ass all the way. I can't sleep. Me neither. It, hmm. it, I don't. I like that either. And I'll sleep in shorts or something. Yeah, I can sleep top. I just need something. Yeah, also, topless, yeah. we're laughing. My, I just got a cat, and he likes to fucking go under my covers and attack. Yeah. Everything, so yeah. there's yeah, not, yeah. You gotta, I'm not risking. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> See, I, I'll sleep in just shorts, naked, top body, and my cat will just sleep right against right me, and I you. have no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's all take a bunch good. of pictures of our themselves naked <laughs> and we can post uh-huh. it on any facebook <laughs> yes. that we'll take it <laughs> and we'll get so many engagements mm-hmm. from the- oh my god we're all gonna get engaged <laughs> so that's probably engagements. true i bet if we did post topless photos we'd for sure get proposed to yeah but by who <laughs> that's the we'll yeah. Yeah. yeah that would be the problem i don't care yeah. i just want to be married just be yeah. i would know for a fact if i did that like i'd probably get dumped so then i'd be further from that oh, oh fair enough I don't know. you think you would get dumped for a topless pick no i don't know i don't think you would what do you well, guys I still think? have I my have great question. personality <laughs> what do you guys think about this in a group that I will not name, someone posted something. Yeah. <laughs> like a Facebook group. A face, Facebook like group. Maybe like a, or maybe I just saw it somewhere. Um, this girl posted a thing where she was like, hey, it's my, hey, boobs, it's my boyfriend's birthday. Why doesn't everybody here text him pictures of their boobs and their Shut butt? Up. What do you guys think about that? I was like, what? Oh, I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> it is cute, but also I don't want to, I don't want to send my.
my shit to a random like. Oh, no, I would no, never. No, no, I would never do. It. I would oh, never I never did. have I any part of it. it. Nor would my boyfriend be so lucky as to have me do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's very nice of her. Yeah. I now, if I did funny. that to my for my boyfriend for his birthday, like that, he'd be so mad. <laughs> he'd be like, first of all, like, why the fuck did you give a bunch of chicks my phone? <laughs> and that's the there's so many random women in your phone. That's either. true. So yeah, my boyfriend actually would be pissed about that too. If I gave yeah. like a bunch of yeah, also, I feel like really it was annoyed. a fake profile of a girl being like, or of a dude being like, hey, uh, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Without a doubt. Without a doubt. You could totally so do that. I'm and, like, that's and so get funny. one of those groups and just be like, oh man, uh, here's mean, a phone number. Just really like hot in guy. that group, Turn they'll be like, I, one girl will be like, I'm bored. Here's a naked selfie. And then she'll post one and she'll be like, now post yours. And then a bunch of girls will. So he wouldn't even, if he was just in that group post, yeah, he wouldn't even need to do that. But yeah. then if you get the phone number, you can start like corresponding with yeah. people. So. Yeah. But then this guy supposedly has a girlfriend. That's the. But he could be like, my girlfriend and I broke up. Yeah, exactly. Now he's got a bunch of comfort tits. Poor guy. (laughs) You know what? I feel like comfort tits are one of those things where it's like, if you kind of signed up for that. If you send them? Yeah. Yeah, A little bit. No, I mean, yeah. You obviously know what you're doing. You know, you you might get the text back if you send your comfort tits. But there's also like the internet. (laughs) Just Google boobs. Yeah. You can see literally every boob in the world. I mean, that's why it makes me think it's a fake thing because it's like. Yeah. I know, but I can see how there's something like a little bit hotter about, oh, it's a real person. No, I get it. It, No, it is hot. I mean, obviously that's why. are not real people. I want to know. I want to see the area code of these tits. That's what I'm into. That's what I really want. I need to know what part of the country. <laughs> and these Tennessee titties. What, yeah. what area code do you guys think your tits are? Oh my uh, god! South of the border, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Tits Tito's. <laughs> South of the border, baby. <laughs> Just so, kidding. They're not that bad. Okay. So or, tri- well, they, that could mean good. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's kind of like Latin. Bro. I just took it as they're from the truck stop south of the border between North and South Carolina. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think my tits yeah, are like from too. Portland, probably. <laughs> Portland tits? Yeah. yeah. Like I Portland tits. I feel like really surgery, white. So they're like hip here. and white and basic. And yeah, like, that's LA. Yeah. <laughs> have you really had plastic surgery? Yeah. Yeah, I had a breast reduction like three years ago. Oh, really? Oh, so your tits are LA. Yeah, I have very yeah. LA tits. That's awesome. They were redone with lasers, so Part- they're also <laughs> laser bra. Yeah, I have a laser bra inside of my boobs. It's pretty fucking Still? cool. What do you yeah. mean? <laughs> when they yeah. put them, when they put them back together, they they lasered like some of the muscle in place, so they'll never they'll never droop. Because I have a laser bra inside of my boobs. Well, your muscle. They made a bra out of muscles. Yeah, they like re they like that's reinforced so things that's, inside. That's yeah. so great. Cool. So do you, are you really into? You like them? They're fucking great. Really? Yeah, yeah I love them. That's so fun. Yeah. I think that would be way better. better. Like if you had to have a breast reduction, your mm-hmm. boobs are going to be mint. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but if you had to go the other way and get implants, no, those are meant to. They I, could. I, I like my friends have I, gotten new titties and they look awesome. I like fake titties, but <laughs> I, <laughs> I know a lot of people don't. Though. I think the risk is more that the yeah, risk yeah. is yeah. more. You gotta get them replaced. If you're gonna get a laser bra. <laughs> they're you're just yeah. gonna be good. so stoked. Yeah. 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 yeah, but it's I feel like either can way, you get a laser bra without getting a, a boost or a, a yes, probably so. reduction. Yeah, they could probably go in and like beep beep. Oh, I'm sure. I yeah, a laser bra. Yeah, <laughs> oh, my God. you should get a laser sports bra. The like, inside. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what if you could do? What if you have the option of like a button where it turns into sports bra? Like it oh like lifts them up. Like those pump shoes. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then like somehow I could turn my feet into running shoes. Like I just yes. want to biohack myself. So I'm just like, <laughs> wow, you just gotta be a superhero. I mean, yeah. <laughs> She kind of is. Yeah. That's the future we need. Just like new I, be able to like push the I feel like all yourself. that shit's coming oh, yeah. at some point. Well, biohacking is, you know, one of my rabbit holes that I go down and there's these guys that are like it's like this punk rock movement where it, like they do it in tattoo studios and shit mm. like that. But um they, they put stuff under the they skin. They put stuff under their skin yeah, yeah. to like monitor their stats. Mm-hmm. So they're mm-hmm. like the pioneers, but we will what have kind that. of stats. Um, Heartbeats. everything from heartbeat, blood pressure, blood sugar, oh. um, levels of all your important shit, hormones, and they have it all go to their constantly go to their phone, so they can always see like what they're. I doing. want one that tells me how cool I am <laughs> at any given moment. Oh, I'll do that for free. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> hey, what about right surgery? now? Hey, you're really cool. Cool as fuck. <laughs> cool as fuck. <laughs> Weird pose. What? <laughs> what? Are, what are their jobs? Uh, the tech. biohackers, I would guess tech. <laughs> I think oh, they tech like guys. a lot of them have a lot of money yeah. and yeah. time. I don't know. I, they have money. 
yeah, I think you're right. That yeah. I think they're like busy, like Silicon Valley guys. Yeah, yeah. it's like these. They're super smart people who actually are onto something. Yeah, um, they're all like angel investors, like Tim Ferriss yeah. types up in Silicon Valley. For it's the a most very part. weird subculture. Yeah, and like they're just obsessed with like hacking, basically turning themselves into robots. Because, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like (laughs) buff buff, buff, white dudes with receding hairlines and Asian wives. Like that's the guy. That's the guy (laughs) every single time. Man, take care of the receding hairline first, and then worry about the bio. Yeah, Yeah, that needs to be your first. It just keeps updating. Your hairline is receding. (laughs) (laughs) I've been thinking about doing uh, about about. Cutting the boobies off this year. Yeah? We'll see. I'm going to see. Yeah. I'm going to see how, see how I feel. You, you said some negative stuff today about your boobs. No, I mean, I just, they're just too big. Like, I'm like, yeah. I just don't like I it didn't mean that saying a reduction's negative. I'm saying, like, yeah, mm-hmm. do that. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you no, didn't. I think I'm like, uh, I'm done. They're just, it's too much. I feel like. Is it expensive? No. I took a picture of my, this is ridiculous. I got covered by my, my insurance. Have you guys <laughs> ever taken yeah. a picture of what you, what you like look like during yes. sex? Like yes. from above? Not, no, yes. how do you do it? Selfie stick? Just like a selfie. Just like from well, tripod. no, not, they're not that tall. <laughs> if you want, if you want a cheap Valentine's Day present, just use a tripod to take dirty pictures for your boyfriend. There you go. <laughs> I did it last year. Okay. Or a selfie stick. You could probably do a selfie stick too. Yeah, but tripod, you have more, more options. You know what right, I'll do yeah, sometimes um, with the Mac top, the, uh-huh. the MacBooks. They have the photo thing. Yeah, the photo. Yeah, the photo booth, and I'll like set myself up and then. Hit it! Oh yeah. yeah, photo booth. I mean, photo booth works for sure. Photo booth yeah. is always flattering too. Yeah, yeah. It's, they're good ones. It's great for. And sexy. then you text, you email it to yourself. Yeah, and yeah. Then you download. <laughs> it. And then you filter it, and then you but send then, it. Like, I'm still worried about all my outtakes someday just getting out there. Yeah, yeah. all the ones the you did. That's the best website ever. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty journey <laughs> outtakes. Oh well, what I did with these is I did these. I turned off the Wi-Fi on my computer, mm-hmm. put them onto a flash drive. And then gave them to him as a flash drive. And I was like, you right. can only use these when you're not connected to the internet. Yeah. Because of the way that everything is, it yeah, gets the uploaded to the cloud yeah. and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So. I don't uh, understand this cloud. I don't, I don't either. either. <laughs> but that one movie. <laughs> yeah. Did this what couple was it? get leaked to the cloud? They had sex or something? Yeah. It was like the Seth sex Rogen, tape, right? Or something. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't yeah, Seth. Yeah, it was yeah, the yeah. guy. Jason, Jason Siegel. Jason Siegel. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay. So you took pictures of your boobs. Oh no! And I was like, "This is too much." <laughs> I gotta. <laughs> I get that. Like when when they when they kind of just like become... they're like bigger than my head. Yeah. It's too much. And they like and part like the Red them. Sea when you're just yeah, like on your yeah. back. Yeah, I, I like, think well, your head a is a good like parameter. Yeah, it's just is? like it's not like your head. It shouldn't be bigger than your head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. or else I'm, I'm sure it's uncomfortable. Yeah, it's Without not even doubt, that. Yeah. I just like also like clothes and stuff. I just mm-hmm. can't can't fucking find anything that fits me ever. You know, I lost I think a little bit of weight from running, and like I was getting dressed for New Year's this year, and I was like, none of my dresses look hot anymore. Like I have my titties. Uh, <laughs> my titties are much smaller. I've lo- I've I've lost titty weight. I hate losing titty weight. Yeah, it's like I what's the it. fucking point? Yeah, <laughs> like why am I even living? <laughs> like, I could just eat and have titties. <laughs> yeah, that's like a boyfriend slogan. You mean I can just eat and have titties? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess that's the ultimate boyfriend slogan. Yeah. You mean I can just eat and have titties? <laughs> that should be a, a biohack that they figure out. Is like you can go, you can pick where on your body yes. like a fat goes yes like, oh my god can we please where's, do that where's that all app like. where's can't that we, app can't we implement some kind of system <laughs> yeah like a, yeah. Yeah, like I a don't, highway oh god there's nowhere for it to go <laughs> 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 I guess I would put it to my ass but like even oh then. yeah big butts oh I love I big love big butts, butts. I already <laughs> have a big butt though <laughs> it's so I don't so need good. more yeah. and then like That's I'm so into fun. the cartoonish asses. Me like, too. oh my god, yeah. yeah we were at great. the airport a couple of months ago with my boyfriend, and I was like, Sean, look at that girl's fucking butt. I was like, Come <laughs> oh here. my god. And I like god. Over to check out this butt because it was like I don't think I'd ever seen like a um, fake butt in the wild. Like I'd only seen them on like <laughs> right. Kim Kardashian wild and Nicki Minaj. Airport. But like, yeah. it's astounding. They're like, amazing. I don't know yeah. how you oh. wear pants. I I I'm really bad at telling if stuff's fake, so I don't know. Like even yeah, fake butts are all fake. Time. I mean, there are some really big. There's some like, that are just like yes. that. Yeah, you can, yeah, really. You can do a lot of squats. Yeah, get there. Yeah, I gotta really? do more squats. Yeah, I want squats. Yeah, yeah. You gotta do, do squats with like a weight. Yeah, and that'll give you a bigger butt. Yeah, 
Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also, if you work out the back thigh, like under the butt, it will like lift, lift the butt. Lift. But also, there's a lot of natural <laughs> ones you that want... are just like that. Like, yeah. that's not. Well, you need to be, I feel like, already gifted a little. To yeah, 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 yeah. To enhance. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. not going to go from zero to 100. Yeah. Like, it's natural talent will only get you so far. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's mostly work ethic <laughs> and having yeah, a podcast. Yeah, so you feel so creepy because I do. I, I look at girls' butts a lot. No, they're very hypnotizing. I think it started with when twerking became big. Yeah, and I just—they're mm. so I hypnotizing. But I, I, but it's, it's not okay for guys. It's not okay when guys do it. So no. I mean, a, a glance is okay, but you know what I, I mean. I do know what you mean. Yeah, I know yeah. what you mean. But I feel like also like when I had bigger boobs, it was like I just got used to people staring at my tits. I don't like guys staring at my body parts. I don't know if I like it. I'm just, yeah. but I'm talking about like, like us looking. I'm not talking about how you felt. I'm talking about like, is it okay that we do? I guess I'm I just saying that's the only time I've ever yeah. been stared at. I guess it didn't really bother me whether it was women or men. See, it bothers me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah I don't, I don't like, like it. it. But I don't. I, don't I mean, know. if it's the butt, I don't give a fuck because I can't see. Yeah. yeah. So that's but. the beauty of the ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> I think most of the time too, I'm just like, I wonder what she's doing because she looks great. And in my head, I'm just like, hell yeah, girl. Yeah, because like, I'm for saying me, it in a positive like a, way for her. I'm not like yeah. trying to like. Yeah, it's not like the city. Stop them or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm not like put anything in it. Yeah, it's more just like. Let's see it. <laughs> oh man! Actually, I don't mind anyone. I'd l I I like if people check out my butt, I guess, but not Me my too. tits. Like I don't want that. I I'm think it's just either. that like I don't want to see like a creepy like face. Oh no! There. There, there's Look, definitely yeah. that where you're like, because that to me is where I'm starting to be borderline of like, okay, do I need to be threatened? If you're like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's like not checking out. That's like no, no, no. no. That's, that's committing level. to. Memory. I mean, that's yeah. like the, the guys I've seen do like upskirt or like take oh, pictures God. of it's girls. Fucking disgusting. Yeah. That happened to me once in Mexico. Shut um, up. I was there for not upskirt, but I was there for spring break, and I was wearing a bikini, and this mm -hmm. guy just came by, was like, Shh, and just took a picture of my tits and ran off. He Whoa. pulled your bathing suit aside. He just went. Shh, Oh my off. god, that's awful! I know. Oh I was my like, god, what the fuck, man! I'm just trying. That's to That's not gonna be a good picture either. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it's gonna be a terrible photo because yeah. it's like blurry and you just like <laughs> random. That's and a run dude away. that comes in three seconds <laughs> <laughs> on a For daily sure. basis yeah. in his fucking pants. Let me look at this idiot. like blurry Ugh. thing with a dot. Tits the on the line. run. Yeah, <laughs> tits on the run. <laughs> 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 Sailor Sam by searching everyone for the tits on the run. Oh, you guys uh, have group mind. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. And we'll be, be back. back. <laughs> back. We are back. I'm Tess Barker. I'm Barbara Gray. I'm Brandy Posey. And we're here with, what's your name? Georgia Brooks. Oh, hi. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia, Nailed do you want to help us answer some lady problems? Oh, my God, yes. Oh, good. Great. Let's dance. Oh, now we really feel pop princess. Oh, yeah. Lady, lady problems. Lady, lady problems. Lady problems. Wow. I feel great. I feel really yeah. That's what I needed to get into the year. Yeah. It feels like know. 2016 now. Mm -hmm. And now. now. You know, my dad told me is that he stopped <clears throat> listening to classic rock because he doesn't want, he was like, you know, I'm just about like new stuff. That's why he, that's why he only <laughs> listens to techno now. Only techno. My dad only listens to techno. He's newer than me. Yeah, he, my dad's way newer than me. Yeah, like I'll go to my if I'm like, Dad, I need some new like trance music to run to. He's like, Oh, fuck. check out techno. Wow. Stuff. Yeah, he travels the world going to raves sober. <laughs> That's incredible. That's amazing. Didn't uh, Brandy? you yeah. you said your dad might listen to the podcast. So <sighs> oh man, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, Papa Posey, you there? Hey, Chuck Posey. <laughs> hey, Daddy. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it so far. Oh, I mean, this one's been all about boobs. So what man doesn't like that? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he's still here. <laughs> 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 Just love hearing about my daughter's tits. That sounds like a great way to kick off the year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, God, I hope my dad doesn't listen. Do you think he might? I think my mom tried once and then it was like, nope. Yeah. I don't think he will. Just, it's not for you. Yeah. Yeah. I told Parents. him, I told him that I was like, you're not in our demo. I really don't want you to hear it. But he like wanted, he wants to be supportive and I respect that. And, and be supportive it. by not listening. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, you can download it and then not delete it. <laughs> <laughs> I will take your downloads. I'm so, my mom's just so 
far off. I mean, like, I, I feel yeah. like with Twitter and podcasts, I really am in the clear. You're yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I am very. And I, like, always make fun of her. I'm like, Mom, why can't you fucking understand the internet? You know? But then I'm like, I'm so lucky. It's a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> you only want them to get it so far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, like, figured out Audible for him. And then he was, because he's starting to go to the gym this year. And he was just like, all right, cool. I'm going to listen to audiobooks. I'm going to listen to podcasts. What what should I listen to? How could subscribe me to yours? This American Life. Yeah, I got him on you that. You should have just subscribed him to yeah something yeah. not said, ours at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did Lab. this American Life, and that was yeah. ours. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dad, yeah. I'm Ira Glass. <laughs> yeah, that's my like stage name or my <laughs> podcast name. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, let's. Should we do? Yeah, let's do this lady problem. Uh, ladies, I need some help. I'm pretty sure I've been cursed with a horrible mother in law. I started dating my now husband six years ago, and his mom was always super nice to me. We were on great terms with each other for five years. I liked her a lot at first, despite a couple of major personality flaws. Her racist kitchen decor at the top of the list. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah. Around the time of our wedding, she started to put in her two cents about everything. That's all fine and well, but his parents weren't contributing financially, so we didn't think it was appropriate for her to tell us to increase the size of the guest list. Just one example. About two months before the wedding, she called and demanded a list of who was coming from her side of the family, and she wanted me to call the hotel to find out if they made reservations because she wanted them to make welcome baskets. See, I'm not jealous of the engaged people anymore. I yeah, know. exactly. Mm-hmm. Now I'm like, they want to... I told her I would do the first part, but not until the due date for RSVPs. I told her she can figure out the hotel thing because I had a lot of other wedding bullshit to deal with and was working 70 hours a week. She called me once every two weeks and left voicemails to the effect of, you need to get me those names. I ignored her the first couple of times, but by the third message, I called her back and said that we agreed on a specific date and I would get it to her and I wouldn't be calling her every time I got a new RSVP. I told her I was stressed out with work and wedding shit and I needed her to relax and trust that I would get it to her when we agreed and we hung up. She hasn't spoken to me since that day. She, so insane. This is insane. That's crazy. She didn't speak to me at all on our wedding day. She over what? On her wedding day. Over so a year up. ago. And she decided to add my husband to her shit list shortly thereafter. We haven't seen or spoken to either of his parents since, Dece- since December of this year. My husband said he's used to, she's used to getting what she wants and she wants it. Sorry. My husband said she's used to getting what she wants when she wants it by acting totally crazy. He said most people just back down. So the fact that I didn't is probably what upset her. At any rate, he says I shouldn't apologize for being honest. And that if his parents want to act like children, then we won't be a part of their lives. Jeez. Yeah. Ooh, good I, husband. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like a, he figured it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel like I kind of feel shitty, like I drove a wedge between my husband and his family. We are really close to my family, and we have a lot of fun with them. And I feel guilty that we can't have the same opportunities with his family. Things weren't always this strained, but my husband says his family has been on the far side of dysfunction for a long time. Do I suck it up and try to have a conversation with her, or do I just let it go? Well, I would love to say fuck you, lady, or tell her terrible person i am more than capable of being reasonable with people even if i don't like them or their racist kitchen decor <laughs> i want to know what racist kitchen decor is yeah for some reason uh, i'm picturing like a, a black face like mammy yeah that's i'm what assuming what I am that's too. what it is yeah. like little salt and pepper shakers yeah. like that's what i'm yeah they're they're old they're old family heirlooms Ugh, no yeah. get rid of it you need to get rid of it if grandmas need to get if we have we have a long line of racism in this family <laughs> yeah. i'd like to remember it it's been I like to on. Put it on my <laughs> eggs every day. Yeah. <laughs> eggs oh. all taste good. Which is crazy that, that salt and pepper because it's like that's black and white coming together. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly. what blackface is: black and white coming together. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an Oreo cookie. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> um, oh man, um, I, you've solved it. Yeah, you've yeah, solved. Yeah. You've solved it. You're, You're fine. I, I mean, think stay away. Right. Yeah. yeah. Your husband is stoked. He <laughs> won't like come out and be like. I don't like my family. Yeah. It's also more his thing to deal with. Yes. Like, if he wants to mend it, let mm-hmm. him mend it because it's his family and you go along with the, whatever. Yeah. And it could be so much worse because you'd be in a really shitty situation if he was like, oh my God, this really sucks. I feel like I'm torn between you and my family. Yeah. yeah. But the fact that he's on the same team as you. Yeah. And yeah, it is a bummer that he can't have a good relationship mm-hmm. with his family, but that has nothing to do with you. Well, Don't feel guilty about it. That's no. their fault. Yeah. And like, if she couldn't be mature enough to speak to you on your wedding day and that's just like that's like and that's a yeah. heightened situation yeah. then fuck her that's yeah. a fucking and it's just icy gonna move yeah. happen again like imagine you have kids and exactly then, like, you won't it's indicative of how she'll handle every situation yeah. that doesn't I mean, go 100% her way I'm trying to imagine way. like a situation where you would show up to someone's wedding and then yeah 
your, give the bride your the silent treatment. Or your, yeah. Yeah, your yeah, son's your, wedding. And then, yeah. yeah, cold shoulder the bride the whole That's time. That's insane. Uh-uh. Yeah. Insane. Uh-uh. And no. to not pay for the, alone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to not yeah. pay for the wedding. <laughs> yeah. Even if she was perfectly nice, I'd kill her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know it's not her job because it's his parents. and. Well, yeah, no, but like don't, don't dictate terms of a wedding. Like weddings mm-hmm. are a production to yeah. do. Like, yeah. Your job as like a mother in law, future mother in law, is to like be helpful but not pushy. You know what I mean? I feel like that happens. So many of my friends who have gotten married have these issues though. Yeah. Where really? Oh my wow. god. Marriage. Yeah. It's like a film that's financed by your family. That's a nightmare. Ugh. Imagine like your <laughs> family was. Yeah. Everyone this wants podcast. top billing. Yeah. <laughs> everyone wants top billing and creative yeah. control. And they want yeah. every cousin to be a shitty extra. In the yeah. Background. And they don't yeah. care that oh you wrote god. fucking directing and are starring in it. <laughs> yeah. I love weddings a lot, but like I don't. I love them a lot. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> like so much that you like you love like them. want like, a lot. One. They're so wonderful, but I don't know if I I don't think I could actually spend that much money on a party. I know That's but then I, feel, I think yeah. the same thing too, but then it's like I don't it's like but, uh, all I, or nothing. It's like okay, yeah. it's either like just lose a bunch of money or you go like I think the elopement route. Mhm. Yeah, well I'd rather make sh- if I don't think I could Spend money on a wedding before I owned a house. I know. Yeah. That's what everyone says. We all say that, and I agree, but <laughs> yeah. at the same mm-hmm. time, I have no traditions in my fucking life. There's, like, nothing traditional, and it's the mm-hmm. one thing that seems appealing to me that I'm like, fine, the one big thing, because I got yeah. nothing else. I know. I feel you know, the same there's way. There's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have anything. I know. I feel the exact same way. Yeah. yeah. Or it's like, all right, I guess I'll fucking I didn't have a quinceanera. I didn't have a bop mitzvah. <laughs> I didn't have any fucking ceremonies well, in my life. What, what about a birthday? There's one ceremony. I want one ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> well, give you a funeral. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, give me a great yeah, funeral. funeral. We'll give you a funeral, no problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't worry, Barbara. It's Chill. fine. Out, <laughs> hire a priest. It'll be great. But I get it. Like that's I, what is appealing to. I don't necessarily know if I'm going to well, do and that. Also, like, Listen, we like, also both wedding. really like. We <laughs> also both really like theatrical productions. Right. Yeah. So it seems like a yeah. fun My excuse theatrical production. To, yeah. Right. Because I'm thinking a lot of choreo. I've always of said course, that. Of course. Of course. <laughs> and you can't. And the thing is, when it comes down to it, it's fun to do that on its own. Uh-huh. But it's really fun to have a point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> show up and do a thriller like because usually our flash mobs at the end are kind of sad yeah Yeah. there's no like grand there's no people you know together forever we can make people cry with this one yeah yeah yeah. a flash mob where you cry at the end that's what i'm talking about exactly Oh, oh man. so I get I get the appeal I do get the appeal of like the ceremony thing <laughs> I love that this chick's like that wasn't my question <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we get it you like weddings you like dancing <laughs> what do I do about yeah, my mother no, I do think the husband's stoked he's like finally yeah. someone yeah. He, so A someone that. is here to confirm that mm-hmm. my Yes. My family sucks. Yeah, and like you know, it's really not any of her beeswax. <laughs> no, I guess yeah. any of the moms. It's Are just the, like it's not. I get that she perhaps caused the problem a bit, but it, it really it's yeah. like but it's not her mom, and it's his. If he doesn't want to do anything, yeah. And if yeah. it wasn't this, it was going to be something eventually. Like she was gonna. She wants. The mother-in-law wants to assert dominance on you in some way, mm-hmm. and you guys are your own fucking unit now. I wonder if he's an only child. I guess she's oh, wondering. Yeah. Putting, putting oh. all her eggs he in that basket. He doesn't sound like an only child because I think an only child would be more likely to be like, oh, but I have to talk to my mom. Like, it yeah, sounds yeah. like there's some other kids that yeah. keep the lady distracted. Yeah. And like, also, I don't feel, don't feel like you need to, if you still are cool with other members of his family, who's to say you We're can't laughing. just be like, hey, my siblings can come over or like, hey, I'll invite my dad. Yeah. Dad can totally bring mom if she wants. Like, this could always be invited. Kind of, yeah. I think always, I think your move is always invite her. And yeah. always be civil to her. Yeah. yeah. I don't think, don't. But they don't. literally haven't spoken. Like, yeah, this so is I think you, if, know. you can still extend an invitation mm-hmm. so that you know that, you know, you're you the upper hand. hand. I don't know. Well, I feel like she that's, could reach out. I feel like that's cut off because I feel like then you're still in the area where you're trying to please her all the time. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, you I have just... to know how to toe that line of like, yeah. Yeah. I'll, you'll invite her and you'll be pleasant to her or polite at least, but mm-hmm. you're not going to bend over backwards for her or like bend yeah. over well. Or, or like a pot, like you don't need necessarily need to. To apologize for that, mm-hmm. but you can per- kind of still go forth like nothing happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if what if it's an email that's just like, "Hey, uh, I know we haven't spoken since my wedding. We had a disagreement. Water under the bridge. 
and yeah, then I miss it. And then it's her, her fault. It's, so then it's yeah. 100% yeah. on her. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. already on her. Yeah. It already is on her. I, I mean, it's always on her anyway. The important thing is that she absolves herself of this guilt because it's yes, she, I that guilt she's is taking the on yeah. this and it has yeah. really actually nothing to do you with You know what? Her. She should yes. have a fire and she should burn something that belongs to the mother in law. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Is that like witchcraft? Uh, I think it's like a rebirth. I like it's that. A <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, a yeah. it's a witchcraft. <laughs> I think that's like birthing a child. <laughs> like I think that's what childbirth is. <laughs> you have a fire. <laughs> when you have your first child, name her not the mother-in-law's name. No. <laughs> like, that's oh my god, though. But for real, if you did really want to get back in her good graces, you didn't talk to her for a long time, and then you just called your daughter that name. She'd be like, "I'm so sorry about that wedding stuff." You know what I mean? <laughs> that would be just the only Photoshop way. you with a baby and say that you named it after her. That you would be great. To actually, have the kid. <laughs> Just tweet that your favorite name is her name. Just tweet that this like mom she's got to be on Twitter. Mom's on Twitter. Facebook. Racist kitchen decor. She's not. not on, she's Twitter. a Facebook person. Yeah. She plays a lot of candy. My parents love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. I yeah. I just I think yeah. You're on the right side here. If you want to send yeah. her like one last thing, yeah. one last olive branch, so that you at mm-hmm. least feel I like could, it's yeah. in her court. Yeah. But, and I mean, maybe even something, maybe it is a good idea to send like an, oh shit, went down email, but I'm almost thinking maybe it's just like next time it's something that you would invite your family to, like whatever Easter. event mm-hmm. but to, or whatever the fuck it is. To me, it's not, I don't want, I, if I was her, I don't, I, all I would think about is the mom the whole time. If she was at the same event as me, my entire focus would be on that What woman. if yeah. you, know? you just invited his parents for dinner mm-hmm. one night, random? And you guys ne- don't necessarily talk about it, but you just have like a nice dinner. And be like, you know, we haven't spoken so long. We really mm-hmm. miss you guys. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what happened because she could pretend like she doesn't really know what if happened. You, if yeah. you, the question is, do you <laughs> actually life. want her in your life, or do you just want her in your life because of guilt? Because <laughs> if you need to absolve yourself of the guilt of it, like I mean, the fact that she put her own son on the shit list is super. This insane. woman is yeah. 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 I, she's I think she's a toxic person. person. Like, yeah. she's and you've already got your family. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. She sounds really toxic. Okay, and your son maybe is you happy. just keep ignoring. I just feel like life is too short to like completely ignore a parent like mm-hmm. that. But, but life is too short to include them all the time I when know. they're that fucking nuts. Yeah, you know? yeah. life is short. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Look, the thing is, she's gonna die someday, yeah. and then everything will be great. <laughs> like, um, well, it. you want it. if she dies, you want to get some of that stuff. So maybe you should start planning her funeral and say that you can you can ha- invite as many people to the funeral as you want. Like that's yeah. your guest list, right? So like I want to make sure they all want. get welcome baskets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let me know who RSVP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe that's the way. Mm-hmm. That's just so <laughs> incredible that she would not pay and then have those requests. I feel like if you pay, all right, fine. I'll listen to your fucking bullshit. A little well, bit. yeah, then you invite a couple of friends because yeah. they're paying for dinner, so whatever, it's I'm fine. Just, like, who does that? That yeah. sounds like she just really, yeah. I mean, the fact that she said, my husband said she's used to getting what she wants when she wants it by acting totally crazy. So this yeah. woman doesn't Very know how to be good. rational. There's yeah. no. Yeah. Can you, you know? believe that she's in a marriage that's lasted? Probably Maybe yeah. she not. She's like a massive narcissist. She's probably and her like husband a, the just dominatrix backs down. or some shit. Yeah. <sighs> also, manipulative people know how to stay married. I know. Yes. Isn't that fucking yeah. insane? Yeah. It's like a. It's like frustrating. It's really. I'm frustrating. so jealous. There's <laughs> givers and takers, and they pair up sometimes because you know, whatever happens. It's so interesting. Whatever. Yeah, I look at like my grandparents. They've been married. I don't even know more than fifty years, and like they mm-hmm. argue all the time. But like they've gotten their argumenting yeah. so symbiotic. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's like it's kind their... of adorable. It's like they're almost like a vodka lack. Like, yeah, that's, so cute. Cute. Aww, that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that's sweet. I, I mean, also crazy people are great working. in bed. So. That's it's true. Yeah. You know, yeah. she probably yeah. fucks the dad's brains out. Uh, <laughs> ugh, sorry. Sorry to make you think about your father in law like that. Oh, yeah, I forgot she was listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think your husband is stoked. <laughs> I think he's secretly stoked that she's that she's out of his life. Yeah, as don't much. you know, you can't yeah, you can't feel bad about this woman. She's she's made your life shitty. Mm-hmm. Don't you keep know. it separate. I think that's the consensus. Yeah, exactly. Right, Georgia, where can we find you on the internet? Oh, there's not more questions? <laughs> no, that's, a, that's it. Just yeah. one. We took just a while one. answering that one. You know what? I don't mind. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm so done. <laughs> no, I just mean like I didn't Do you have any questions for us? Or? Mm, no. Um, <laughs> I had a really good time. Uh, you can find me at GeorgiaBrooks.com. And it's uh, it's e g e o r g e a. Anyways, and then also right. at Georgia Brooks on Twitter. Or same 
with it. I'm every, I'm all you know. Just it's just my name everywhere. <laughs> not everywhere. <laughs> not in lights. Not in but lights. Not, <laughs> yet. not yet. Hey, the year just started. Give yeah. me a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure it out. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Thank yeah. You. Thanks for the Thank show. You. And uh, come see us oh, next yeah. Thursday the thirteenth. Wait, is that the right? It'll no, Wednesday. 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 Sorry, Wednesday, next the Wednesday the thirteenth at the Hollywood Improv. Woo-woo. Yeah. Bye. Happy New Year, everybody. Bye. Bye. Can't get enough of us? Subscribe to our Patreon for exclusive bonus content, access to our first 100 episodes, and more. Go to patreon.com slash lady to lady now to sign up. As little as a dollar a month keeps a roof over the glam cave and keeps you laughing, even when your coworkers stare. That's patreon.com slash lady to lady. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter and Instagram at lady to lady comedy. Join our Facebook group, Lady to Lady Podcasts, to chat with other fans about episodes or even post your own lady problems. Check out our website, ladytoladycomedy.com, for show notes, videos, and merch. And duh, follow our individual accounts, Babs Gray, Brandazzle, and Testify Barker for jokes and info and where you can see us perform live. And if you want to send us snacks, stickers, or a lock of your own hair, I don't know, whatever, our P.O. Box is 412-794, Los Angeles, California, 90041. And please, leave us a review on iTunes, but only if you like us. We love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.